Hi, I'm Mark Dawes here, and in this short video I wanted to answer a question for you, which is in relation to whether or not we should train someone in physical skills, i.e. breakaway, physical restraint or self-defence, if they are pregnant. So in other words, what do you do if you're a training provider and someone turns up on your course and informs you that they are pregnant? Should you train them or shouldn't you train them and what's the justification for either? Well, fundamentally, the main piece of legislation that relates to this is, of course, the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, particularly Section 2 and Section 3, with Section 2 relating to the duty of care owed to the employee and Section 3 to others, and in this case, the unborn child. There's also further regulation under the Management of Health and Safety at Work regulations, uh, Regulation 16 to 18, which deal more specifically with the duty of care owed to the expectant mother and her unborn child. Now you can find out more about this more specifically and read everything about this just below this video in the text that I put there for you, so you can actually look at that in a second if you wish. But fundamentally, if someone has informed their employer that they're pregnant, then the employer needs to take certain actions consistent with a risk assessment to reduce the risks to the expectant mother and the unborn child. And this could be rearranging her, her work so that she's no longer exposed to the risk. It could be actually, you know, putting her into a different area of employment or indeed even suspending her from work until such time as the health and safety to her and the child is no longer a risk, which will probably and normally be after she's given birth. Now in relation to this, there's also issues here regarding discrimination because of course we can't discriminate against someone just because they're pregnant. But the fundamental thing is here is making sure that everyone is safe. That's, that's the key principle. And once again, if you look below the video, there's a lot of information there about this. One of the things that, for me though, that I think is a key factor is why would an employer, in the first place, be sending a pregnant woman on a breakaway or a restraint or a self-defense course? Because the only reason they would be doing that is because that person is at risk and therefore needs either skills to disengage and break away from someone or is, is going to be expected to physically control someone who may be presenting behaviour that challenges or being aggressive or violent. If that's the case, then that in itself should answer the question that the person shouldn't be doing the training because as a trainer, if you're going to be doing physical skills with them, you have a duty of care too, under the same legislation, to the expected mother and the unborn child. And I certainly would not want uh, a pregnant woman getting unnecessarily hurt or damaged on a physical skills course when she's been trained to do something that she shouldn't be doing because her, her employer should be changing her working arrangements to make sure she's not exposed to the risk. So I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, get in touch, you know, drop me an email or respond to this blog post. Uh, but like I said, there's a lot more information below that I'm sure will be a benefit to you. And thanks ever so much for listening.